Thank you all for, again, for this wonderful uh, morning and afternoon session. We still have uh, one final crosstalk, and I'd like to bring in our wonderful sister squad again. One of them is Nandy's Cafe owner, Lucy Fryer. And uh, we have invited her a lot of times to come to U of M. And it turns out a lot of weather stopped her from coming. So we are wonderfully having her presence today. Uh, and then I would like to invite Will Thompson. And she's, uh, he is also one of the important people who are helping us uh, to make this photo shoot possible, inviting all your grad students working with us. And uh, you engage a lot with the community people too. So this is the last talk. We are going to invite Carol also. She's, uh, yeah. Just come very brief, and then we will have dinner around the dinner table. We can all discuss what have been up to, you know, new, new inspirations. Maybe we we, we will invite uh, Lucy, Nanny sisters stand up here and to talk a little bit about your experience. And maybe this is the first time you know about contemporary art, right? Yeah. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is so interesting. I am so excited being here. And uh, forgive me for missing the other ones, but, you know, nothing is, is a mistake in life. So I'm here where I'm supposed to be right now. And, and just to meet all these interesting people and to see like that fantastic piece that Kwan San done is live is so amazing. That day was just amazing. I remember seeing um, Sister Fong fumbling across the street with Panera. And I was like, she must not know we here. What is a Panera? <laughs> We're a little small business. Panera is a big business. So I go over there like, you know, come look what we got you won't you don't have to use Panera I'll get whatever you need you know so you just give me a chance and I said and plus I knew they was gonna need some place to warm up they didn't know I was there though but I'm watching I'm like they can come over and warm up right. so you know they can eat warm up and everything so she came in and everything and, and we just like bam hit it off and then she needed me she was like I need some people how could you get people I said, oh, yeah, we can go get people. You know, on Woodward, there's a place called Oasis. And so it's a place where people come out of a prison and homeless shelters um, and rehab there. So they all helped me move some. They helped me move in, in, uh, to my new location. And so I was like, I'll go over there and just ask. And um, she was willing to assist with some um things that they needed from a CVS $50 card. And oh, we had a line of people. And so it just went great. So some of the characters that you see in the film there, they're, um, I would say most of those men are homeless, actually. A lot of them are homeless men. And uh, some are some people that frequent the cafe. And um, it was just, it was, it was wonderful. Although um, Brother Kwan San said it was like two, three hour wait. We were there like hours. <laughs> felt like a day, but it was hours. <laughs> it was and we were cold, but it, it worked out so well. This is Brother Freeway. He um he always he's just always he's been with me a long time. He's I call him like my right hand guy. So I was like, Freeway, we gotta go up here to uh, come go with me, you know. And I didn't know he was so bright on that painting. The the picture out there is just <laughs> awesome. Right. And but uh just working together, um uh, with Kwan Song, it's, it's like, um, it is like a tale of two cities. I didn't understand what was going on. I just knew he was taking a picture. Right. You know, and, and this is like a world of something else, you yeah. know? This is what I'm seeing, and I just thought he was taking a picture. But it brought, looking at it come all together, it done brought a whole world together. It done brought a world. Um, my, um, I've been dealing with African art and in African, my studies of culture for a long time, like over 25 years, and and we all are submerged in this one world, actually. And, and when you go back to the beginning, you know, it's just like Africa birthed the world, and there go that person, there go that person, there go that person. And so we all sit in this one room. And so this that, that picture just kind of looks like that, 
looks like a, a world where a lot of different cultures came together and we all doing the same thing. We all trying to live the same way. We all trying to be happy. We all trying to love. We all trying to build. We all trying to forgive. We all trying to make a family. So um, in the end, we all need to get along. <laughs> so this is a beautiful picture. And, and you know, thanks for uh, uh, letting me be a part of it and inviting me and just meeting all these beautiful picture, p people today. I feel kind of special. You know, <laughs> not even around a long right. time, but I never looked at myself because I'm, you know, when you got a business, you the janitor, you cook, you you do everything, you do so everything. you don't even know what you're doing. You're just like somebody come in and say, oh, this place is nice. I'm like, okay, you know, I see that it needs to do this. I need to do that. So, um, you know, so whenever y'all in Detroit area, Highland Park, Highland Park is 2.9 square miles, real small place. The place we took the picture at was uh, Sanders Bakery. So when you travel in the country, you may see those Sanders candies. And so that's, that's where we uh, uh, did the picture at. And uh, it was a big place, and so many people who lived in Highland Park worked there, just as they worked at the Ford factory. But we see 2.9 square miles, how quickly it could collapse. And um, it looked like nobody worked there. Nobody, it was just like hell in some places where I just moved my new place to is across the street from that and it's on the side, it's in the back of me, but I still not understand. So we are just gonna, you know, influence people to come into the area and rebuild again. Stuff, and I think they're coming. So I, those dilapidated buildings are owned. I'm sure that building is owned by someone. So they just haven't gotten around to putting the billions in it, which look like needs to happen. But do uh, you want to say anything? Yeah, I, I, just, I just wanted to say this. Um, going back to uh, the, the femininity, I, I, I like the presentation on femininity. Mm -hmm. We, are, I, I, once I joined 90, we was a small place. It wasn't that huge, but I seen her vision. And as a and, and as a person, as a black man, I felt like I need to get behind this sister and make her presence stronger. So I was like, I knew how to do graphics, I knew how to DJ, I knew how to make music, I know how to paint, I know how to draw. I said, look, we about to make this the hottest spot in the city. <laughs> so if you see any advertisements, promotional, 90s Nas Cafe online, nine times out of ten I did it or helped promote it. You know, just to get the word out there, because sometimes when we have a powerful woman like this, she needs some serious help. So I'm most definitely her soldier. That's that's the line of, that I am for her. You know, yeah, we you and are. we've been through ups and downs yeah, and all yeah, arounds yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. And when you guys came and did the the uh, presentation and art, it was a welcome, a heartfelt mm -hmm. welcome, because we don't usually get that kind of love from other countries. Mm -hmm or other people, a nationality, to come into our community and shed that type of love to us. Mm -hmm. So she was really overwhelmed with just y'all y'all presence, the appreciation, the the acknowledgement, you know, just that accolade, just giving her that 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 warm feeling. But and then that goes, freeway, Chinese people are coming. Yeah. <laughs> She said, I don't know what to do. I said, look, we just going to do what we do. We're going to treat them like they down-home family. Yeah, yeah. And she, that's how she treats. She treats everybody like they down-home family. Yeah, I do. You know? And that's all I want to say. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Vaughn. Thompson, I'm an anthropologist, and I'm just going to basically rephrase the same thing that they said about that space, because I think, um, you know, uh, yesterday I was at uh, at a preview weekend for architecture master's students, um, and one said, oh, anthropology, that's bugs, right? And um, <laughs> yeah. it's like, no, yeah, that's entomology, but anthropology, so it's a kind of I'll, I'll phrase what I think anthropology is or how I've uh, sort of experienced anthropology as someone then who gets into talking with a lot of artists and architects um, is that I think we as anthropologists tend to come into places and question values and categories and that makes something an anthropologist kind of contrarian sometimes and, and sometimes unclubbable um, within art and architecture circles because I think art and architecture often take value and category, order and hierarchy, and evaluation very seriously. 
Um, so one of the ways that I think about how to approach art questions um, is uh, uh, a scholar called Alfred Gell who talked about if you want to do a sociology of art, you have to adopt what he called um, methodological philistinism. You can't get involved in questions of evaluation. You have to, you can look at what other people value, but you can't get into it yourself. And so what I find as an anthropologist of art and architecture is that I end up coming at it, again, askew. And so for me, the question about, um, you know, to have participated in the making of that image, the image is a kind of trace and a, and a kind of simplified and in some ways, um, uh, I guess, a, a sort of reduced shadow of the social world that was Nandy's Cafe that day, which was really an amazing encounter between two worlds that don't come together. You know, this high art uh, world of Chinese photography and the Highland Park and my students. And it was just one of these places that, that, that would never have existed were not these two currents to have come together that day. And it made something really astounding and beautiful, which I think is captured in that, um, in that photograph. But I would say also that, that especially within a uh, film, there's something pro-filmic to the, the, the world in front of the camera that the artist doesn't necessarily control. And in that sense, I think I would also say that Nandy being there, making that space, and all of us really, but 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 especially Nandy um, and and Walter uh, too, w making that was a kind of authorship of this thing, and uh, at least that's what I see when I see this photograph. And so that was it. Thank you.